When you're thirsty, you've got two common choices. Walk to the sink and pour yourself a glass of tap water or grab a bottle of water from the fridge or convenience store. It sounds simple, but behind that choice is a surprisingly complex debate. Which is safer? Which tastes better? Which is better for your wallet and for the planet? Today we're going to break it all down and compare tap water versus bottled water in a way that goes beyond the surface. Right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with definitions. Tap water is the water that flows directly from your faucets at home, sourced from public water systems. Depending on where you live, it might come from rivers, lakes, reservoirs, or underground aquifers. Governments and local municipalities usually treat and test it to make sure it meets safety standards. Bottled water, on the other hand, is packaged water that comes in plastic or sometimes glass bottles. It might be spring water, mineral water, or simply filtered tap water that's been purified and branded. Companies sell it on the promise of convenience, purity, and often taste. At first glance, bottled water feels like the premium choice, while tap water is just the everyday option. But things aren't that simple. One of the biggest concerns people have about drinking water is safety. After all, you don't want to risk contamination. In most developed countries, tap water is heavily regulated. In the U.S., for example, the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, sets strict safety standards for municipal water, requiring regular testing for contaminants like lead, bacteria, and chemicals. Water suppliers must publish reports each year so the public knows what's in their water. The same is true in many other nations where clean water infrastructure is strong. Bottled water is regulated too, but differently. In the U.S., the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, oversees bottled water. However, it doesn't always require the same frequency of testing as municipal tap systems. In fact, in some cases, bottled water companies are allowed to conduct their own testing and the results aren't always made public. Here's the kicker. Studies have shown that many bottled water brands are essentially just filtered tap water. So in terms of safety, tap water often holds its own against bottled water. Sometimes it's even more transparent about what you're drinking. Safety is one thing, but taste is another. Many people swear bottled water just tastes better. And there's some truth to that. Tap water taste varies depending on where you live. Some cities have naturally soft water that tastes smooth, while others have hard water that contains minerals like calcium and magnesium, which can give it a distinct flavor. Some areas might even have chlorine added for disinfection, and that can affect the taste and smell. Bottled water companies take advantage of this, by offering purified or mineral-enhanced versions that are often consistent in flavor. That predictability can make it more appealing, especially if your local tap water doesn't taste great. That said, blind taste tests often reveal surprising results. Many people can't actually tell the difference between bottled and tap water. In fact, some end up preferring tap water when they don't know which is which. So taste can be more psychological than chemical. Now, let's talk money. Tap water is hands down cheaper. In most places, a gallon of tap water costs less than a penny. Compare that to bottled water, where a single 16 ounce bottle can cost a dollar or more. If you scale that up, bottled water can be hundreds or even thousands of times more expensive than tap. Think of it this way. If you drank eight glasses of tap water a day for an entire year, you might spend just a couple of dollars. Do the same with bottled water, and you could spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars annually. That's a huge difference for something that, in many cases, comes from the same source. Cost is one thing, but the environment pays a price too. This is where bottled water really struggles. 
plastic bottles create a massive environmental burden. Even though many bottles are recyclable, billions still end up in landfills or polluting rivers and oceans each year. Producing those bottles also requires energy and resources, oil for plastic, water for bottling, and fuel for transportation. Tap water, by contrast, flows through infrastructure that's already in place. No packaging, no shipping trucks, no plastic waste. The carbon footprint of tap water is dramatically lower, making it the clear winner from an environmental perspective. That's not to say tap water is impact-free. Treatment plants use energy and chemicals, but it's still far less damaging than the bottled alternative. Some people turn to bottled water because they believe it's healthier. But is it? Both tap and bottled water are generally safe to drink in most developed countries. The main health concerns with bottled water come not from the water itself, but from the packaging. Over time, plastic bottles can leach chemicals like BPA or microplastics into the water, especially if left in the heat or reused multiple times. While most studies show these levels are low, it's still something to think about. Tap water, meanwhile, can sometimes contain trace amounts of contaminants like lead if it flows through old pipes. That's why local infrastructure and maintenance matter. The infamous case of Flint, Michigan, for example, highlighted what can go wrong when water systems fail. So the healthiest choice often depends on your local situation. If your tap water is well regulated and your pipes are safe, it's a perfectly healthy option. If not, filtering your tap water can be a great middle ground. Of course, convenience can't be ignored. Bottled water shines here. It's portable, requires no preparation, and is available virtually everywhere, from vending machines to airports. That's why it's such a massive industry. Tap water is less convenient on the go unless you carry a reusable bottle. But with refill stations becoming more common in schools, gyms, and airports, this gap is starting to close. In fact, carrying a reusable water bottle has become a lifestyle choice for many people who want both convenience and sustainability. At the end of the day, water is life. Both tap and bottled water keep us hydrated, which is the most important thing. But the bigger picture, our health, our wallets, and our planet, shows that tap water, especially when filtered if needed, is usually the smarter choice. That doesn't mean bottled water has no place. It's incredibly useful in emergencies, when traveling, or in areas where tap water isn't safe. But for everyday hydration, most of us would do just fine, actually more than fine, by turning on the faucet and pouring ourselves a glass. So the next time you're thirsty, maybe think twice before grabbing that plastic bottle. Your body won't notice much of a difference, but your wallet and the planet definitely will. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.